In this example, we want to compare whether the purchase orders and associated invoices have correctly been matched. So again, we create a pivot table. Make it bigger. So what we want to do is we're going to show the type option somewhere. So I'm going to take the type and put it here in the columns. So we're now going to see the difference between an invoice and a purchase order. What we need in there is the amount. So I'm going to put it into value and it's going to be a sum. So that's fine. We want to do it. Look at the transaction date. So I'm going to put it into the rows. This version automatically does it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup it. So that's what you should see. If you right click and say group, I can then do it by months. I'm going to say OK. So what you'll see, it's got that. So we want to be able to see this. That's great. But we also want to be able to drill down to get the actual reference number. So the only way to do that is to take this reference and put it after the date. So what you'll see is we've now got the, the month and the various references. I can just right click and collapse the entire field. And just to make it a bit neater, I'm going to change the format so our numbers don't have decimals and show negative. So what we've now got is we've got a summary per month. If I open up one of them you can then see exactly which ones are matched and which ones aren't matched.